गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टुडे वी विल डू सम एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स सो लेट वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन द रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ ग्लास इज वन पॉइंट फोर एंड वट विल बी द विलासिटी ऑफ लाइट इन ग्लास सो वी नो दैट रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ ग्लास मीन्स द एब्सल्यूट रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ओके सो एब्सल्यूट रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ ग्लास इज गिवन 1.4. Okay, so what will be the velocity of light in glass? Now, refractive index of glass, we can write. This can be written. The in denominator velocity of light in glass with respect to air. So air velocity of light in air is always c. Okay, so now refract absolute refractive index is 1.4, and we know that the speed of light in air is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and this is velocity of light in glass so from here velocity of light in glass will be 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by 1.4 and our answer will be 2.14 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so velocity of light in glass will be 2.14 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second we know that the value of refractive index is greater than 1 greater than 1 means greater than 1 means the medium will be denser and we know that in denser medium the velocity of light is less Then the air. So velocity of light in air is three into ten to the power eight meter per second, whereas the velocity of light in glass will be two point one four into ten to the power eight meter per second, which is less than this. Okay. So this is the use of refractive index. If refractive index is given for any material, we can calculate the speed of light in that medium. Here the refractive index was one point four, so we can calculate the speed is two point one four into twenty to the power eight meter per second. So for any medium whose refractive index is given, we can calculate the speed of light in that medium. Okay, so this is the use of refractive index. So there is another question: A light rays go from medium one to medium two. If the medium one is air, and Velocity of light is decreased by fifteen percent in medium two. What will be the refractive index of medium two? So suppose we have two medium. This is medium one and this is medium two. And medium two is air, having refractive index. Refractive index one. Actually, the refractive index of air is equals to zero point zero 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 one, which is Sorry, one point zero 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 three. So, which is we can take it n is equals to one. Okay. So means refract uh, speed of light in air is we can calculate the speed of light in air is equals to three into ten to the power eight meter per second. This we know. So the light is going from air to any medium and since the light is decreased in this medium so this is denser this is denser now how much light is decreased how much the speed of light is decreased it is decreased by 15% so speed of light is decreased by 15% if 15% speed is decrease when light goes from air to this medium so what will be the speed in this medium so speed will be 100 minus 15 that is equals to 85% of the speed of light in air okay so if the speed of light is this so in this medium it is 
85% of this speed okay so now we can calculate the speed speed of light in medium to will be 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second into 85 divided by 100 so this is 85 percent of this speed so this will be 2.55 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so this is speed of light in medium 2 okay so this is speed velocity of light in medium 2 now in question we have to calculate what is what will be the refractive index of medium 2 now refractive index of medium 2 is equals to velocity of that medium will be in denominator and with respect to air air is c because this is absolute refractive index refractive index of medium 2 with respect to air so the speed of light in air is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by 2.55 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so this is equals to this is approximately 1.7176 1.176 so this is our refractive index so refractive index of medium 2 is 1.176 so we know that refractive index is greater than 1 that's why the uh, velocity of light in this medium is relatively lower or decreased now suppose we have this question the refractive index of water for light going from air to water be 1.33 what will be the refractive index of light going from water to air so this is quite simple first we have to write what is given so a refractive index of water with respect to air is given 1.33 what will be the refractive index of light going from water to air means if light is going from water to air what will be its refractive index so we have to calculate the refractive index of what air with respect to water this we have to calculate now we know the formula refractive index of water with respect to air is equals to 1 upon refractive index of air with respect to water so from here this we can calculate refractive index of air with respect to water will be 1 upon refractive index of water with respect to air so this is 1 upon 1.33 so refractive index of air with respect to water will be 0 0.75 so this is our answer now our next topic is spherical lenses okay spherical lenses so lens is a transparent material made up of glass or plastic but the condition is it should be transparent okay so suppose we have a solid glass sphere we have this solid glass sphere this is solid glass sphere and if we cut this sphere from this place and that place okay so this is solid spare solid spare and this is one portion this is also solid this is also solid and this portion is also solid if we join this join together this form a lens this forms a lens and this is called convex lens this is called convex lens if we join these two oppositely this will form like this okay so this is called concave lens so we have we have two types of spherical lenses first one is convex convex lens second one is concave lens 
क्लियर सो कॉनकेव लेंस कॉन्वेक्स लेंस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड कन्वर्जिंग लेंस कन्वर्जिंग लेंस वाइट इज कॉल्ड कन्वर्जिंग लेंस because after refraction it converts the light ray after refraction it converge the light rays concave lens is also called diverging lens diverging lens why it is called diverging lens because after refraction after refraction it diverges diverges the light rays now what do you mean by conversion and what do you mean by diversion so suppose we have a convex lens this is our principal axis we already know what is principal axis from the mirrors and this is concave lens and this is principal axis for this lens so suppose these are the light rays these are the light rays so after refraction it converges converges means these two light rays meet at a point so whenever light after refraction meet at a point so this lens is called converging lens whereas in case of concave suppose we have these light rays after refraction after refraction it diverges like this so this is called diverging lens because light is scattered means light is diverges light diverges by this lens so this is called diverging lens so let us talk about the convex lens let this is convex lens so in this lens we have two uh, two curvature this is one and this is second curvature okay so we have two curvature so for each curvature we have focal length for this curvature the focal length of this curvature will be the here foc this is focus and for this this is the focus so we can write this f1 or f2 or we can write f and f prime okay so for the lens we have two focus for lens we have two focus for each two focus only okay clear so we have this is convex lens this is principal axis the center of this lens from here to here if we draw a line the center of this line is called optical center denoted by o so o is optical optical center clear now for this curvature this is our focal length f1 for this curvature this is our second focal length f2 this distance of of1 is focal length focal length or we can say first focal length first and of2 is second focal length okay so twice of this focal length twice of this so this of is suppose 5 cm so it twice means 10 cm in 20 cm this is called 2f1 twice of this focal length this point is twice of this focal length here also there is 2f2 twice of this focal length so we have two focus and two twice of the focus okay so this is also called the 
center of curvature in case of mirror we have studied the center of curvature so this is also the center of curvature but in case of lenses it is denoted by 2f okay similarly we can draw it for concave lens so this is our principal axis so for this curvature we will have this focus f1 or f1 or we can say this is f2 this is twice f1 this is twice f2 okay so these are the focus and twice of the focus for a concave concave lens now in case of con convex lens convex lens after suppose light is traveling parallel to the principal axis after reflection this passes through this f1 so whenever light goes after reflection meet at a point at the principal axis this point is called principal focus okay suppose light is going parallel to the principal axis and after reflect after refraction it passes through this point so this point is called principal focus so f1 is also called principal principal focus and f2 is then called secondary secondary focus clear now in case of concave lens suppose light is going parallel to this lens after refraction it it will diverge now here this in this direction this can never be meet to principal axis so we can assume this is coming from this point okay so this is coming from this point we can assume so this is called principal focus principal focus and this is called secondary secondary focus now you can see the principal focus of concave lens is towards the left from the optical center this is o and towards the left the principal focus is located in case of convex lens principal focus is located towards the right so this thing we have to keep in our minds in which direction principal focus is located for the different lenses so what we have studied we have studied that spherical lenses are of two types one is convex lens one is concave another one is concave so convex lens is also called the converging lens and concave lens is called diverging lens because after refraction it diverges the light rays okay then we have studied the focus principal focus secondary focus and the twice of the focus clear for convex lens as well as concave lens tomorrow we will study the rules for image formation by the convex lens or spherical lens in general okay so tomorrow we will study the rules for image formation by spherical lens and then after it we will study the image formation by convex lens so this is important how we can form a image of an object placed in front of the convex lens so this we will study in the next lecture so thank you class